Uh, the European Parliament is more important than ever before when it makes decisions which have a big impact on people's lives in areas like climate change, uh, in areas like uh, borders, uh, asylum, migration. Um, so we actually need a strong parliament. Um, so it is important that uh, citizens all over Europe go to the polls and decide what kind of parliament they want to see. The Brexit negotiations have reached a critical point. Um, we are now at the point where uh, the UK has to decide how it will move forward. Um, that could mean that they sign up uh, to the deal which has been negotiated, uh, but it could also still mean uh, that there's no deal and there's a small chance um, that uh, there might even be a reversal of the decision. Um, from the European side, uh, this continues a long period of uncertainty, of instability in the UK. Uh, we don't know uh, what the UK wants, we don't know where the UK wants to go. Um, but from an EU perspective, the negotiations have gone rather well. Um, Michel Barnier and his team have worked very closely with the Member States and they have managed um, to get to a conclusion within the negotiations which all the member states support. Um, for the moment, um, I think these entitlements are safe. Uh, the government has committed um, to maintaining uh, the kind of framework conditions which are there for EU citizens uh, in the UK. Um, but again, it will depend on what the long-term trajectory is, whether we have a deal or not. Uh, with a deal, uh, those people who are already there are protected. Uh, without a deal, it looks much more uncertain. I think in the end, um, even with a deal, uh, it is uh, a worse situation than now because it removes some of the certainty which is there. Um, people will always question. People will not know, for example, what happens to their spouses, what happens to their children. Um, so overall, um, it is um, a worse situation than now, but without a deal, uh, then it could be much more chaotic. I think firstly, um, the composition will also depend on whether the UK takes part in these uh, elections. Um, there's still a possibility uh, that the UK will have to vote in the European Parliament elections. Um, probably with a very confrontational uh, election campaign. Uh, but even without that, uh, what we will see is a strengthening of the more extremes, uh, both on the left and the right, uh, more on the right. Um, that will have some impact on the overall majorities within the European Parliament. Um, we will have a situation where uh, we don't have the automatic majority uh, of the two big um, party blocks together. So there will be bigger coalitions which will have to be formed. And all that comes at a time when uh, the European Parliament is more important than ever before, when it makes decisions which have a big impact on people's lives in areas like climate change, uh, in areas like uh, borders, uh, asylum, migration. Um, so we actually need a strong parliament. Um, so it is important that uh, citizens all over Europe go to the polls and decide what kind of parliament they want to see.